The interaction with the pathology department actually starts at the time of the surgery itself. When patients first meet me, I explain that process and how that happens, in that we're doing the surgery really for the goal of finding out if this tumor or lesion is a cancer or is not. But after we remove the specimen that we're concerned about, it goes to the pathologist. And we had a patient who found out that she had a genetic predisposition to getting ovarian cancer. She talked to her doctor about those results and she went ahead and decided to be aggressive with removing her uterus, cervix, tubes and ovaries to prevent future cancers. In the last several years, pathologists have worked together with gynecologists to study patients who've elected to do this. And we've worked out a very, very detailed method of examining the fallopian tubes in these patients. And lo and behold, we found that she actually already had a non-detectable fallopian tube cancer. Typically with these cancers that are very early, the tubes and ovaries can look completely normal on imaging on both CAT scan and ultrasound, although when you look at it pathologically under the microscope, you can find these small areas of cancer, despite even having normal imaging done. In other words, it was not something that could be noted on physical exam, but we were able to see it under the microscope. Because of this, she's able to get treatment and very early and perhaps save her life. And often with patients, I do sit down with them with the pathology report, underline and go through those reports so that they know the things that are important. There are some things that are important for certain cancers like the grade of the lesion, the size of the lesion, what the margins, the outer limits of the tumor that was removed, what those look like, and what that means in regards to their treatment down the road. Even though we're behind the scenes, we are actively participating in your care. Even if we haven't seen your face, we feel like we know you and that we are available if anyone has a question about a report we've generated. So we have to consider a different diagnosis. 